Hey guys and welcome to this week's edition of Tommy's Top Tips for Fantasy Premier League Game Week 25. This week I played my free hit card and made some wholesale changes within my team, throwing in some surprises and under the radar players that can make the difference in your team. First up in goal, I've gone for the ever reliable Dean Henderson. Henderson has eight clean sheets this year, which is only one behind Premier League leader Allison. He's also made 61 saves this season in total, which puts him 13th out of 34 in the league. He's up against Palace this week, which saw him keep a clean sheet in their last matchup. Can he do it again? Only time will tell. Next, we have Ender Stevens, Sheffield United. Now, only 2.5% of FPL managers have Ender in their team, which shows this 90-point defender has gone well and truly under the radar. Although he's only got one goal and two assists to his name this season, he still created 27 chances, which is third highest for Chris Fawada's team, and that's more than any other Sheffield United defender. If he can start converting those chances to goals or assists, he could well and truly become an integral part to anyone's team. Right, it's time for Tommy's first Tommy's Top Tip. And coming up first is defender Matt Ritchie. Ritchie is up against Norwich this week, now that he's back from injury and fully fit. Despite playing only five matches this term, his total of seven successful crosses is second highest for Steve Bruce's side. I'm sure he will make the difference versus Norwich this week, who have really struggled to defend aerial situations, conceding 63 headed shots and 93 shots from set pieces, which bodes well for Toon's set piece guru. John Lundstrom versus Crystal Palace. Let's be honest, everybody has him. And why not? A midfielder in defence? Yes, please. Last time out versus Palace, he bagged himself a goal in the 1-0 win. Be sure he will cause problems again. Time now for the Scottish wizard, Robertson, who is up against Southampton. I can see Liverpool keeping a clean sheet this week, as I can't see Danny Ings turning up against his old team at Anfield. The Scotsman has one goal, six assists and nine clean sheets to his name this season. Jack Grealish, Aston Villa versus Bournemouth. Villa's talesman has now got seven goals and six assists for his boyhood club and I expect him to do well this week after leading his team to the League Cup final beating Leicester midweek. It's time for Tommy's second, Tommy's top tip. Eric Lamella. Although Lamella is against Man City this week, he has really been enjoying his football after his injury under Jose. Looking to be a real goal threat, producing eight shots and five shots inside the penalty area in the last two game weeks. Also last time against City, he had an outstanding game, grabbing a goal and an assist. Kevin De Bruyne, Man City versus Spurs. Kevin got both assists in Man City's 2-2 draw versus Spurs last time out, and the assist leader will be looking to add to his tally of 17 again this game week. Mo Salah versus Southampton. Salah had a wonderful time over the double game week, and I expect him to continue his form versus the Saints. Malpai, Brighton versus West Ham. Malpai has been a bit has been on a bit of a goal drought recently, not scoring in seven, but I can see him ending that against a feeble West Ham team. So far, Malpai has scored seven goals and two assists this season. Lastly, it's time for Tommy's toppest tip. Piera Aubameyang, Arsenal versus Burnley. So far, Aubameyang has scored seven goals in four appearances versus Burnley, and coming back from suspension, he'll be ready to fly into Arteta's side. Burnley have a dismal record versus the Gunners, recording only one draw and ten defeats in recent times. This week, I've captained Obama as I can see him grabbing two or three goals versus Burnley. On the bench this week, I have Dubrovnik, Mount, Target and Ings. Lastly, it's time for a special mention. Chris Wood, Burnley versus Arsenal. Wood has scored against Aston Villa, Leicester, Man U in the last four game weeks, showing good consistency. And his aerial threat could spell trouble for the Gunners. 
He's had six headed shots in the last four game weeks, which is more than any other FPL player. While Arsenal have conceded 17 head headed shots in all the games, Arteta has been in charge. This is a total which is only better than two other teams. Anyway, that's it for this week's edition of Tommy's Top Tips. Hope I can help you climb that table and remember 